good motivation, no stagnation. I would say round four. <laughs> Just got finished doing pull-ups. And it's nine o'clock. Yes, sir. Like I said, rain, sleet, or snow. Nothing stagnate the mo for show. Sure. Going down at the water. You see, I'm at the pier. Yes, sir. If you have a bike, get on your bike. A good time, one. I don't know how the weather is where you at. I think it's a good time one. Yes, sir. When you come to the city, get on a good time one. We take a romantic cruise at night. You did? Yes, sir. Take that romantic cruise when you come to the city. Get the water dirty. Yes, it clear up. Fish starting to bite now. It's about time to come out here and start back fishing. Yes, sir. Getting that good uh, fishing motivation back. That's when I started back at, uh, back at the end of March. That's when I come back out here. And it's the same one says the end of March. It's the 22nd. Yes, sir. Like I said earlier, this month went quick. It's the God's creation. Man. That's why I always say it's the best receiver rough in life. The water is dirty. <laughs> Do you see Cedar Point? See the point you open up uh next month. Is it next month? April or May? Two months? I don't know. Yes, sir. So y'all come to the city. If you know where uh see the point at, come to the city. Give a shout out to King Motivator. Yeah, we can hook up, we can do whatever. There you see it. Them rides over there. There you see it. That's Cedar Point view. Giving y'all some of this waterfront view. Yes, sir. Man, the water is ooh. That's brown like it's coffee. <laughs> so if you drink that type of coffee, you already know what you're drinking on. That straight bud. And yeah, you see bluegill. That's the trike. Yeah, fishing trike. First fishing trike down here. Yeah, that's my cooler. <laughs> it's kind of dirty, but you see. Yeah, it's there. Old worm in there, too. That's some weights. Yeah, you see it, though. <sighs> Come to the city though. It's nice. You no. Know, it's nice. Everybody stay to themselves. Yeah. Very warm. Everybody speaks to you. You, know, you need that good motivation in the morning. Well, you need that good motivation in life. Just bump in the morning, just in life, just point blank. But yes, sir. It's our pier. Yes, sir. Oh, here come my, uh, my, uh, my friend. When I be jogging, yeah, this him right here. It's good to see him. Yeah, he out here faithfully. I think he says he's um, 80, you want to say 83, 84? Good to see him. I know you're gonna know it's me because I'm on a bike. Good morning. How you feel? Oh, I can't complain. You see, I'm on a bike today. <laughs> you have a good one. Yeah, that's my buddy.
Yes, sir. It's always good to see people. You know? It's always good to see people. And that's what the world should be about. You know, just embracing each other. It don't matter what race you are. You know? <sighs> yes, sir. Just want to come down here to the waterfront. Give me a, some quick mile in. More than a mile, but just a quick ride. And this is all. Uh, uh, Jet Express? Yeah, that's just what Jet Express said. Straight water action, waterfront action. Yes, sir. So it's early, so you're not gonna see people out. Yeah, come here, and they be they be jamming, they be enjoying themselves there. By the time I went in there, uh, got something to eat. How you doing? Got something to eat. Yeah. So. So if you've been here before. No, I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I hope you met some good people. And if you didn't, you met one a day. King Motivator, that's who I be. Yes, sir. As you see. Hold on, let me show you. As you see. <laughs> yes, sir. And the other time I had my boy with me. But like I said, it's, it's wet out here and it's drizzling, so. I don't like him coming home with soggy paws. I'll tell you, I don't know how y'all dogs smell, but man, when his paws get wet, I'm telling you, it smells like straight Cool Ranch to me, like some Doritos. <laughs> I'll be like, man, who eats some Doritos? He be sitting up there like, man, you know these my paws, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But yeah, but I have to uh, invest into a one of them um, one of them bikes that you have in the house. No, I have a treadmill, but he was like, you can't do no more treadmill. I'm like, wow. Like I was telling y'all before, like with my knees, I don't have no cartilage in my knees. So it's just like it's bone on bone. And they've been wanting to have surgery on me uh, since like two years ago. But I had to get up under 300 pounds, you know. But since to myself, I just said for myself. I don't know about nobody else, but since I've been working out, I don't feel like I used to, you know? I don't wear that sleep apnea machine no more. I don't stop, I don't stop breathing, you know? I just be sitting there, none of that stuff. You know, I was overweight. And them steroids. Steroids had me like that. What was that, the pred pred predazone? Something like that. <sighs> But yeah, now we are on the shoreline. Yeah, this the shoreline. Straight solitude. That's all you hear is God's creation.
what you see over there. That's the cold dock. It's our downtown. So, I don't even stay a mile from down here. Like a mile away from there. But now you can see Cedar Point a little closer. Yeah. I'm gonna say there's somebody over there walking. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you see the uh, what's that? The dragster. Uh, yeah, you see the island? You see Cedar Point Island? Yes, sir. Now that's the lady who walked past when I was doing a pull up. She'd be out here every day, too. I just haven't jogged down here in a while. But this used to be my this. This right here, all this. What you, what you hissing at? Ain't you a trip? <laughs> like I'm bothering him. That's for one of them. You going down. <laughs> Sherline Park. <laughs> yes, sir. Just wanted to come down and see some water. Stretch my uh, stretch my uh, legs and feet. You know, I had the little pull-ups. So, they were tearing that fish up. That was a uh, a big shad too. Next time you're gonna see all this filled up with with boats. I used to jog all this. So I used to get my seven miles in there. So I just came on and called myself seven mile seas. So, but just like if you saw the movie Forrest Gump. That's how I was. Remember when Forrest just took off jogging and just started running? That's what I did. And it was just like, um, I think February was like, I think it was my last seven mile. I think, yeah, I think February or, no, I want March. February, I think it was my last seven mile. And I said to the queen, I was like, that's it. You know, I set my goals. My goals was three miles. You know, I worked myself up to um, three miles to the five miles and to, you know, to uh, to six miles, you know. And then I was just like, hey, you know how um, um, it's like 5K to 10K. After I did the 10K, that was my goal. Then I just stretched it out to seven miles, you know. Just close it off like that. I just wanted to get a little closer to uh, 
CC to find me in. Then I'm heading back to the house. So that's where I'm going to end it at. Yes, sir. Ah, that's where I'm going to end it at. I took a ride with me on the waterfront. Man, that's a big shed. That bad baby big. You see it? Look at that shed. That bad baby's humongous. That's a big shed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Get off them rocks. I want to fall. But you see it. See the point. Let's see if we can get real close in. Ferris wheel. The dragster. Sir, see if I turn it sideways, y'all gonna be like, "Man, I can't see that." Just wanted to do that just for you. Look, it said rotate the screen. <laughs> I just wanted to show it like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, I'm out of here. Once again, that's bluegill. That's bluegill. <sighs> and I'm King Motivator, as you see. Thank you, Father. Man, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Just waking up just to you know, just do what I do on a daily. You know, it's always a blessing just receiving breath of life. And I just want to say this. You know, you need to love your health like wealth because we don't know when is our day that we're not going to wake up. I'm not trying to sound harsh, but we know that's part of life. So keep embracing those that, you know, who care, care about you, appreciate your spirit, you know, uplift each other. That's what the world needs. And believe in a higher power. That would make your uh, life more easier as well, too. You know, it took me a while to find myself. That's why I said we all have a past. But once you find evolution, you should know your solution. So keep doing what you do daily. Bless the Father. In Jesus' name, that you know you woke up in this morning and just keep on just praising his name. Psalms 34 1 tells me choice his name daily. That's what I do. Everyday therapy. So y'all keep loving self for those who love you back. Appreciate those who appreciate you. And keep relying on God. And when you keep relying on God, when your heart's sincere, blessings be answered. Trust and believe. Blessings be answered. So stay active. Get you some um, some hobbies to do. Just stay active in life. And as you stay active, you understand that, you know, we have to stay um, doing something. Because if not, you're going to be introvert. And once you just be to yourself, and that's when, like, you, depression be sitting in. I think nobody on this earth shouldn't be by themselves. You know, we need to, you know, um, I know Corona changed, um, changed up everything. But we need to start um, back interacting with each other besides just on here. But, you know, but this is the best way as well, too. So, well, you know, those that you love, 
Go and interact with them. Go and see them. Check on your elders. Uh, show that structure with your kids or other people's kids or whatever that you see what's going on out here. Put that good motivation out here in this world. It had too much stagnation as it is. So be a motivator, not a stagnator. And once again, a motivator is when you just, you know, you're high, you're in tune with your higher power. Stagnation is when you, you be judgmental. You let Satan just tell you, you know, dictate and have you out there just doing like, hey, look at him. He shouldn't be talking like that. <laughs> no, don't be no stagnator. Be a motivator. This is what the world needs. So I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. I see y'all tomorrow. I appreciate the, uh, I hope y'all appreciate the love, the good solitude. That's what I just showed you. Solitude. So, hey, let me start my day. Yeah, it's 922. My day started 11. So, and love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Well, I can appreciate you and those can appreciate you back. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. King motivated, that is. What'd you say? Okay, I love you too. Thank you. Leave comments. Subscribe. You know, I love to hear that interaction. <laughs> Don't take this or, you know, my, my size or my voice. They think that I'm intimidating because I'm not, you know. A smile make you approachable. So smile. You feel me? So I'm out of here. Peace. In your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Catch y'all the next one. Peace and shalom. Ah.